Hello and good morning everyone and welcome to my NASCAR Heat 5 career mode. This is episode number 33 of the NASCAR Cup Series playoffs and we're at the second race of the NASCAR uh, Cup Series and beginning the semifinal round of the Hollywood Casino 400 at Kansas Speedway. And if you missed the previous NASCAR Cup Series race, which was the Charlotte Roval in the Bank of America Roval 400, be sure to check it out on YouTube.com slash SpeedJapanator3. And also you can check it on Twitch.tv slash SpeedJapanator3 as well. If you want to leave your links, comments, and uh, down below and add on to the subscription to my channel, be feel free to do so. The description is free, no cost or anything else. And click on to my channel with the SpeedJapanator3 show at twitch.tv and YouTube slash speedjapanator3. And we have a good race for you, and uh, we're starting the NASCAR Cup Series on playoffs, and this is the semifinal round of eight. In the first round here at the Hollywood Casino 400, as we have three more races to go into the Cup Series playoffs calendar, and if we win this race, either it's in Kansas, Texas, or Martinsville, we will earn our ticket to Phoenix Raceway to race for the NASCAR Cup Series Championship Final Four at Phoenix Raceway if we win any of these three semifinal races. And you know, I am mathematically in the race, but I have to be sure to do so because I have a lot of point margin. I have 150 point margin leading the point standings. But if I do well with the top five finish in this race in the Hollywood Casino 400, I will be mathematically in to run for the NASCAR Cup Series title at Phoenix Raceway. But we're starting the semifinal round of eight in the Hollywood Casino 400. And we have eight drivers that are in. And most surprisingly, we have our uh, first uh, Daniel Suarez in the 96 car. The first time ever, the Gaunt Brothers Racing Team, the underdogs that been doing a great season so far are currently in the wild card spot in that last spot of the round of eight Daniel Suarez and I hope he has a good race uh, today man would it be surprised if that uh, that underdog underfunded team the Gone Brothers Racing Team uh, makes it into to the uh, championship uh, final four but he has to have three good races uh, at Kansas Speedway at Kansas Texas and then also um Martinsville. Those are the last three races of the semifinal round, and then it all comes down to the championship final four at Phoenix Raceway, which is the running of the season finale, the Fanshield season finale 500K at Phoenix. And we have done a great job in practice. We were only about a tick uh, slower because the qualifying lap is uh, 30.922, but we had a 32.095, so we're only about 1.1 seconds slower, but we should be able to do fine in this race and just end up with the top five finish and everything. But let's see if any of the top eight drivers uh, in the playoff contention will be in there. And I know Hamlin is in there because he won the uh, the race at uh, Las Vegas. And then I also won Talladega and I won the Charlotte Roval. So here we go for episode number 33 of our NASCAR Heat 5 career mode in the Hollywood Casino 400. We'll start qualifying for the uh, semi-final round of eight. Here we go. And we're in the semi-final round and the DLC paint scheme we're driving is the one cure car. We're gonna drive this car at Kansas, but I'm thinking of the next race at Texas Motor Speedway to drive the Barstool car because I really would love to drive this one cure car for the championship final four at uh, Phoenix. And then I'll drive the Rush Truck Center car at uh, Martinsville. Remember, I drive the Real Heroes uh, project car. I might drive the Blue Death car at uh, Martinsville. When we go to that race, that's the, uh, the, is it the Blue and Blue? Yeah, that's the Blue and Blue Maximum Pills 500 at Martinsville. But the next race after uh, Kansas uh, will be the second semifinal round at my home track at Texas Motor Speedway. That'll be the running of the, uh, I think it's uh, it's not the Texas 500, I think it's the Eco Park uh, 500 at Texas Motor Speedway. And we already started our qualifying, and let's see, let's hope we can uh, make it in there. And it's at 32.283, but it's going to bring us way back in the field, and it's at 25th fastest, so that's pretty slow. 
<sighs> because the goal time was supposed to be 31.60, but we ran just too slow on the track, and uh, you know, there's something wrong with the car and everything, but uh, well, we gave it our best effort. And we're getting news. Uh, remember, I got my laptop open because this is the NFL Black Monday. Now that the season is uh, regular season is over, but the playoffs will start this weekend. So we get a 25th fastest uh, time right behind Matty D. Let's see if any of the chase contenders, well, any of the playoff contenders, the slowest car in the field was Daniel Suarez, and he's 36. And oh man, he is in real trouble. And the slowest car in the field was Chad Beecham. But we have a lot of work to do, you know. Uh, we got we were the second slowest in the field, but uh, I don't know how we got 25th. We should have been maybe 22nd or 21st, but it looks like we ran loose on the track. Also, Joey Logano, he, he is one of our playoff contenders. He is starting 19th in the race. Jimmy Johnson was eliminated. He came very close to getting in, but uh, he didn't make it enough. I think Alice Bowman's eliminated. My teammate Kevin Harvick is in. He's 10th uh, fastest. Kurt Busch is also in. And then so is Martin Truex, Danny Hamlin. Look at all those title contenders. Brad Keselowski, well, Ryan Blaney is already eliminated, but Brad Keselowski was the second fastest in the, uh, so he leads the uh, the playoff contender. And Danny Hamlin is third, and Martin Truex fourth. They, they all did a good job. Joe Gibbs uh, gave a good effort. Good job by Corey LaJoy. Great qualifying, uh, P7. And my teammate Kevin Harvick is P10, so not really a, much of a good uh, qualifying for the Stuart Haas racing team, but we'll be up there and we'll try to contend. But it is going to be a great Hollywood Casino 400 race, but we do move up one spot, moving up to 24th now, because now we have one car that's going to the back of the field. So we should be able to have a good race here at the uh, Kansas Speedway, the second race of our NASCAR Cup Series, and in the playoffs in the first round of the semifinal Soon on final round one in the round of eight. We're hoping to make it to, to earn our ticket to Phoenix Raceway, but if we finish in the top five, we'll mathematically be in the championship final four based on a lot of points that we made because we won a lot of races this season. We almost won about maybe 28 out of the last 33 races, and we have had a heck of a season with this Stuart Haas car. Remember, I'm going to be moving to Hendrick Motorsports next season in the second season of my uh, career mode, and it'll only be Xfinity. I'm only doing part-time in the uh, truck series. I'm going to be playing as Haley Deegan, but that will be a championship mode. Um, it won't be a career mode. It'll be a championship mode on my, uh, because I already did the schedule. I will simulate some races, uh, but I'm only going to do part-time uh, in the truck series and just drive certain races. But anyways, here we go. Getting ready for 400 miles of racing in the first round of the semifinal round of eight. In the NASCAR Cup Series playoffs, here is the Hollywood Casino 400 at Kansas Speedway, America's Heartland. And here we go. Well, that was our worst uh, qualifying position to start 25th way back in the field. And William Byron is going to be in the back of the field. And he started at P11, but he's going to go dead last in this race. And Corey LaJoy, he could have a hot race uh, today. This could be his best race of the season on an intermediate track. And he is starting a P9, so look out for him. He's going to be good. And there's uh, William Byron going into the back of the field. He's already eliminated into the playoffs. Remember, he got eliminated in the round of 16. And here we go. Green flag is out to get this semifinal race underway. And we are underway here in the Hollywood Casino 400. Semi-final round, so any of the eight drivers, that the eight playoff contenders, if they win, they earn their ticket to Phoenix for the championship round, championship final four. Oh, a little bit of contact with Matty D, but I get him drafting help from Tyler Reddick as I go down with these two guys, and now I get around Michael McDowell. I've already entered to a P21 right now. And my car is fast. I have a fast car, but I have a lot of work to do to move up. You know, I'm just focusing on Phoenix. I'm already, I'm already now in P20 right now. I just got around uh, Ty Dillon. He's having a disastrous season, and 
Hopefully, maybe next season he'll improve well. I don't know if that Jermaine Racing team is still going to be there. But we will see, uh, we'll see next year uh, what's going to happen. Because we're going to be doing our NASCAR preview in real life uh, because they will just start next month. And already the pandemic is already going into full swing because now I'm hearing word that Formula One could postpone their... Uh, they're not going to cancel the Australian Grand Prix this year, but they will have the Australian Grand Prix maybe on a later date. And I'm now getting passed by... Uh, I'm trying to pass Austin Dillon, but I'm now getting uh, in between the Richard Childress cars. Remember, that's his teammate right there, Tyler Reddick, uh, Austin Dillon. So a little bit of muscle right there. Remember, Jimmy Johnson is eliminated uh, from playoff contention. He's trying to get around his teammate, Alex Bowman. I'm just trying to be careful out there. Joey Logano is also moving up. He's already moved up into P15 right now. Danny Hamlin is now leading. He is, The last three races, Danny Hamlin has been incredible out there. <laughs> But I'm going to struggle a bit because remember we are, and I may struggle a little bit in my home track at Texas uh, if we don't uh, find any speed. But I'm moving up in the field and I might have to draft a little bit. Tyler Reddick could have a good race today. But I'm moving forward. I'm now up to a 17th uh, position. we got a, we got a long ways to go. This is a two and a half hour race. 400 miles of racing, and we're already moved up into P16. Trying to get around uh, Chase Elliott. Remember, in real life, he already won the championship in real life, but uh, he's eliminated in my career mode, and I'm already getting going by him, and he's going backwards. He started in P8, but uh, he's now, uh, and Joey Logano's also moving up, but look at Tyler Reddick, he's also moving up as well. He's still uh, looking at my tail right now. I'm trying to be careful not to. Uh, been on my car. Tyler Reddick expected to have a good race today. A little bit of contact between uh, Tyler Reddick and uh, and me, but I still have a. But I'm still running there, making this car a little bit unstable. I have to draft. I'm already into P15 right now. Now right behind Christopher Bell. Right now, Ryan Newman is in the lead, but he's not in the playoff contention. Danny Hamlin was leading, but uh, he's already uh, now lost the lead to Ryan Newman. Ryan Newman has been having a good race. He is driving the original Oscar Mayer car for this race. And now right behind Eric Jones, battling out for P14. I'm trying to get around Reddick for P14. Logano is also moving up as well. He's moved up into P12, trying to get around my teammate, Eric Amarola. A little bit of contact on the side there. I've already made contact three times with Tyler Reddick. I might have to draft with somebody, too. I already got Chase Elliott behind me. First stage is going to be about uh, 80 laps, but uh, looks like Chase Elliott wants to go through, and he does. Nope, we still have a long way to go. You know, we're just focusing on Phoenix. Maybe we would try to get a top 10 finish as well, if we're lucky enough. It is hard to drive these cars here at Kansas. So. It is a fast 1.5 um, intermediate track, and Chase Elliott is doing everything he can to try to get, get me forward, but the, the car's not pushing it. I started 25th in the race, and I'm already moved up into 14th. Trying to get some drafting uh, right now. Uh, now I want to be behind Eric Jones. So this is early in the race, but we sure we're, we're going to move up. We're don't no worry. And I've already moved up into 13th right now, trying to get around Eric Jones. And I have to be careful. It looks like Chase Elliott might uh, draft me a little bit. 
We're already clo clo starting to close in on those guys over there up ahead. That's for the top ten. Uh, I have to let Chase Elliott go. Uh, my, my car is uh, definitely unstable right now. I've, I won races with this car. I won at uh, Watkins Glen. Chase Elliott is now up to 13th position, but Danny Hamlin is absolutely showing uh, muscle early in that uh, Joe Gibbs car. And I think that's uh, Corey LaJoy running 11th right now. Right behind is Kurt Busch. Kurt Busch is uh, dropping as well. And I move up into P14, but look at Tyler Reddick. He is absolutely doing well with that, uh, that Richard Childress car. And I'm getting drafting help from Chase Elliott. is real loose out there. I may have to make a little bit of a wedge adjustment on this car to see if it can try to go a little bit forward. And Ryan Newman is leading this race, but remember, he is not in playoff contention. Corey LaJoy is now dropped into uh, P12. We still have a long way to go, we're just trying to move up, you know, uh, it's, not, it's not very easy out here in Kansas so to be running the, well, we may have a little bit of a struggle at Texas as well too, because remember I'm running this all on expert mode, so if I stay closer to uh, Tyler Reddick, I'll be, I'll be just fine, we only have 43 laps away from uh, refueling, and I'm 10.7 seconds now, uh, behind the leader, Brian Newman. Man, we're seeing a lot of great graphics here in the NASCAR E5. I hope NASCAR 21 does okay too. In Formula 121, let's hope that EA Sports doesn't fail well with that game too when it comes to summer. Still no word yet on Forza yet. And I did a great job in the Xfinity Series. I had a top five car in that race, but my Cup Series car is slow. I moved up from P25, I'm now in the P14. Matty D is now moving up, he's in uh, P16 right now. Newman is just absolutely showing muscle today in that number six car, but he is a uh, he is not a playoff contender. And we're in 14th right now. That's Corey LaJoy and Kurt Busch right there. They're running 12th and 11th. The 3.7 seconds of those guys right now. And we have 61 laps left on, uh, in stage one. Now moves up into P15. He's moving up. 
He just got around Eric Jones. He may get around me as well. Getting a little bit too high. Just a bit on the loose side, but uh, and we already got one car out of the race with a blown motor. He's already in the pits, and it looks like his day is going to be over. We're, let's hope it's not a, a uh, playoff contender. We're going to wait and see who that is. It's already parked it and everything. Oh, no, is that Martin Truex? It is. Martin Truex Jr. is out of the race. Martin Truex Jr. has blown the motor, and he is out of the race. And I'm now getting passed by Matty D, and he goes around there for P14. And I dropped into the top 15 right now. Not having a good start so far. I may need to make a wedge adjustment to get the car faster. It's just running a little bit on the tight side. And Matty D, look at this. He, he is all over me right now. Getting pressured. And getting me loose too. So what a tough break for Martin Truex Jr. to be out this early in this race, and he is out of the race. And it looks like he may have to win Texas and uh, Martinsville. So what a tough break for our playoff contender, Martin Truex Jr. Yep, that is Martin Truex. Because I see the orange on there, so that is Martin Truex Jr. Oh my goodness, uh, that, is, uh, that is frustrating for Martin Trex Jr. to be out this early. <laughs> Not unusual to run that 14th uh, position. I don't know where Suarez is running, but uh, he's not doing a good job either. And Tyler Reck is beginning to pull away from me, too. I may have to make a wedge adjustment on the car. And I'm running a, I'm running pretty well with uh, with Matty D. We're 30 laps away from uh, refueling. We have 54 laps uh, until stage one has been concluded. And now we have lap traffic to, to, to deal with right now. Looks like we got traffic to, to deal with right now. Still running at 15. Those are uh, slower traffic right there. We haven't got caught up yet. So a long way to go. You know, we are going to move up. 
I just want to have a top 10 finish. May not do well in Kansas, but we will do well on our home track in Texas. Alright, here, here's the slower cars there. That's Brendan Gong. He's the slowest car in the field. Getting by Bobby Carter and Timothy Hill. Matty D trying to get around the lap cars. Still on the green here. Still on the green flag uh, conditions here at uh, Kansas. Still a good race for uh, Corey LaJoy. Running in, I'm now running at 14. I'm beginning to pull away from Batty D a little bit. There's Ross Chastain. He's going to be on a new team next season going to Chip Ganassi. Yeah, that's just in Haley right there in 35th position. It's going to get our drafting help so we can go by the lap car of Justin Haley. Closing in on Tyler Reddick, he's getting hot right now in lap traffic. Ryan Newman is still denominating this race.
All right, they're now uh, pulling ahead of uh, Matty D. Eric Jones is down 16th, still with Joy and Reddick. So 41 laps left, but okay, now he's going to pass by me again. And this is for the top 15. Not doing too bad, but let's hope we can make it in the top 10 by the end. That's all we need. Let's see if we can get by these guys. McDowell and uh, Bob Wallace not having a good day uh, at all. He's running in 32nd uh, position. And I now secured 14th as I now try to get around uh, Bob Wallace. So 40 laps left on stage one. Two point five seconds behind Tyler Reddick for P thirteen. It looks like Ryan Newman is just outlapping everybody in the field. Good day for the Rouse Fenway Racing. It's the best run that Ryan Newman has had all season. I think Danny Hamilton might be running in second. I'm running in 14th right now. We're still caution free so far. And we're about 14 laps away of making our green flag pit stop. We're 19 seconds right now and we're pretty much in danger of being locked down. It's a warm day here, that's uh, what's causing the car to be slow. But we'll be alright. Just plainly focusing on the championship, and uh, we've had a terrific season, winning so many races uh, in season one. Oh man, and those tires are getting worn. We have 12 laps away of pitting, and my tires are getting worn. Getting more down to the bone. Trying to get around David Reagan. He's running in 31st. He's behind his teammate. Uh, that's uh, John Hunter Nemechek. He's going to be in the new team next season. He was going to that Spire Motorsports. We have nine laps left until we make our green flag pit stop. So make sure we make it the pits through cleanly. Caution yet. The 33 laps left in stage one. And those tires are wearing out. They're already about 12% so far. They may have to pit early because of the tire problems. Oh man, why did I have to go right? It's a John Hunter Nemechek, and now it's going to slow my car down. 
trying to get around the lap cars, and then uh, John Nemechek just knocked the door. And there's Billy Gage running in 29th uh, spot. All these guys are all lapped down anyway, because Ryan Newman, he's closing in. He is, I'm in danger of getting a lap down. I may have to make a wedge adjustment on this car, so that way the car isn't uh, more loose. If I can make a wedge adjustment, maybe I can try to get the car a bit more faster. So it doesn't run terrible. We have six laps away from pitting. Trying to avoid not going into the wall. Still running right behind Matty D, but this will be the first time this second time this season I'll be a lap down. Since uh, the second race in Las Vegas, that was the last time I was a lap down. You can probably know it's absolutely just obliterating this race. We don't have any of our playoff contenders. I think Hamlin is still running second. That is Quinn Huff running in 28. Well, we're, we're going to make it. I think uh, we're 7%. Uh, I'm just trying to be on the safe side. We have 6% of our tires, and we're three laps away from pitting. So we have 29 laps remaining here in stage one. Oh, and there's the caution. Caution is out. And so that means we are not going to be pitting on the green flag. And uh, thank goodness that ca caution came out because Ryan Newman was closing in. And we will see if that was the, the Truex Jr. car. No, that wasn't Truex. That was Cole Custer that was out of the race. No, nope, it wasn't uh, Truex. It was Cole Custer, my teammate. And already Stuart Hoskars are continuing to have problems. I think I might make a, uh, well, I'm going to loosen the wedge a little bit to 49.9. And then we will repair the car and everything, and so we'll be all right. And look at all those cars lap down, and Christopher and Austin Dillon is going to be back on the lead lap. So I'm in P14 right now. And now we have a fresh, clean car, and now let's see if we can move forward. Now with the wedge adjustment, now we, let's see if we can try to move our car forward. We have another car out of the race. So it was Cole Custer that was out of the race, and now we have another car that's out of the race. slow me down. Well, why did Eric Jones slow me down? I remember, I made a wedge adjustment on this car, but it's still not going forward. There are 24 laps remaining in stage one. We can make it through the stage right now. Truex Jr. is now leading this race. Let's see if I can uh, draft right behind William Byron, so that way I can get the uh, steady pace. We can try to move forward into the field. Now Matty D is, looks like he's showing muscle. Looks like the wedge adjustment is uh, working. But it's working a little bit, but not too much. Looks like Kyle Busch is moving up. Joey Logano is already uh, moving up into the field. But I'm still not pushing forward on my car. Why is my car not pushing forward? Yeah, I'm going too high on the race track. I'm, I'm, I'm trying to get some speed out of this car. But it's still not going to be the speed because uh, Eric Jones slowed me down. Let's see if Jimmy Johnson is trying try to give me some help. Still running in 15th right now, but the wedge adjustment is still not helping. And we had our first caution flag of the day. 
But we don't know who that was. Tyler Reddick has now moved up into 11th spot and getting drafting help from Jimmy Johnson. We have 20 laps remaining in this race. When they left remaining in stage one, and I'm trying to, Jimmy Johnson's doing everything he can to try to push me forward, so I could go right behind uh, William Byron. We make another pit stop, but uh, then we're going to have to uh, see if we can uh, try to uh, over the wedge. It's still not helping to go forward. Still running in 15, but. Yes. There you go. Come on. Just, just try to help me out, Jimmy. Remember, I'll be driving that car next season. And I'm now pushing forward. I'm trying to draft with uh, William Byron. See if I can go low. They're going high. didn't have enough room and Johnson now goes in the inside. I just didn't have enough room. Still running in the 16th right now. Right now, Eric Amarola, my teammate, is now leading this race, but he, man, we're seeing a lot of playoff contenders leading this race. I may have to go to 50.1 on the wedge adjustment, and now Joey Logano is now leading this race. After starting from 21st, he's already moved up. We have 12 laps left in stage one. Still trying to get around that group. And 
And I'm pushing Johnson forward. I want to be behind Jimmy Johnson so that way I can get the draw. So that way we can get around these guys here. Okay, let's see what you got, Johnson. Let's see if we can try to pull forward. I will make another wedge adjustment uh, after the, uh, the stage uh, caution. We have 11 laps left, and uh, we're trying to move forward to, to get around William Byron, Corey LaJoy, and Matty D. That's a battle for uh, all the way to 12th spot. And we're finally getting drafting from uh, William, William Byron. And Thomas Johnson uh, pushes me up. Danny Hamlin is now leading this race. It's like there's a three-way battle between Truex, Hamlin, and, uh, and Eric Amarola, who's doing very well out there. And now we're closing in on William Byron. It's the battle for P14 all the way to P12. We have seven laps left on stage one. Running side by side with uh, William Byron for 14. Man, look at the side-by-side -side racing against William Byron. I do pass him, but there's Jimmy Johnson right there. There five laps of remaining in this race. And he's pushing me forward. I can move up in the 13th and I get around uh, Corey LaJoy. There you go, keep pushing. And I almost hit the wall going into turn two. And I'm now running in P12 right now behind Kurt Busch. Tyler Reddick just got around for push. He's also struggling as well. And I'm struggling too. I'm going to have to make a wedge adjustment on this car. It's at 49.9, but uh, I might need to make it uh, a little bit more uh, adjusting. Running alongside with Matty D, and I'm going to lose P12 to, uh, to him.
gonna I'm gonna draft them too. So that way we can both try to make our muscle way to Kirk Bush for P11. I'm not gonna get any uh, playoff points. So I'm just two away getting get playoff points here. I think in, in Kansas you have to draft with somebody. I did a very good job in the Xfinity race winning that one. I may do a secret weapon at the end of this race so that way I can pull my car forward so that way I can get a top 10. And now we're in the final lap of stage uh, one. As I try to hold on to P12 here, racing alongside with Matty D. But we're not going to get any points uh, in the first stage, but maybe in the second stage, let's see if, what happens. I may have to make a wedge adjustment on this car. I don't have to put any tape on it because uh, the car is driving good as it is. But the, And the caution is out during the stage, and we finish in P12, but we don't get any uh, playoff points. We're just uh, struggling with this car. Everybody is going to pit, and we have 187 laps remaining in this uh, Hollywood Casino 400. We're moving slowly, moving forward, but then Jimmy Johnson has been dropping. So we're going to have to make a, maybe make a wedge adjustment. But, well, let's put about 50.2 on the wedge, so we, that way we can oversteer the car a little bit. Well, uh, we'll keep it as it is because the right front is 49.75. All right, I think that'll be good. Let's hope that let's hope this car will pull forward. We move up into P11. We made a good pit stop, and we make a good pit stop after the uh, after, after the uh, stage caution flag. We move up into P11, and we're running alongside with uh, Kurt Busch. And stage two is going to be about 78 laps. And we're trying to march on forward into the top 10. We, we need to draft. We're drafting now with Brad Keselowski. There's Matt Kenseth and everybody else. And now we're pulling forward. Look at this. We're moving up into P8. We still need to draft. We're drafting with Ryan Blaney. And now we're right along these, uh, these title contenders, these playoff contenders. Oh, we need to watch out. There's Keselowski. He's pulling forward. There's Kyle Busch. He's driving one of our uh, October cars. We're going to call it October. We're not going to call it that H word. He is driving one of those October cars for this race. That's a nice looking car. He will drive that zombie car in the next race uh, when we go to Texas Motor Speedway. And we're in P7 right now. And look at this, Matty D has moved up. He has now moved up into P7. And this is what, the way that we want it to be. We want to have a, a top 10 finish, and we're getting it. And I think this wedge adjustment is helping. We made a double wedge adjustment on the car to pull forward. It's still not going as fast. We're in P7 right now. We're going to let Tyler Reddick go. I'm just staying focused on the championship uh, at Phoenix. I've got a good variety of points. I'm being patient. Just being the Alan Kowicki, that's what I'm being right now. <laughs> you know, Alan Kowicki used to drive, you know, drive like this back in the past. You know, and he did such a great job, and he had fast cars, and he was the greatest, um, you know, owner driver ever. No question about it. And we're going to lose positions here because, uh, but as long as we're running in the top ten, that'll be fine. And we got to get out of the way, and we have another caution. And we're in the top 10 right now. We just got around Matt Kenseth, and now we have another caution out with 181 laps remaining. And we don't know what the caution is. Let's see who that second car was out of the race. It looks like it's Quinn Hoff that is in trouble. Oh, no, and it's my teammate, Kevin Harvick. Man, what is going on with the Stuart Haas racing team? Kevin Harvick. Oh, no. That was the previous caution flag, and Kevin Harvick is now out of the race. Oh, no. And that is going to cause a huge blow in the, in the title contender for the championship. And, and that's why Kevin Harvick is not in the spot. He dropped out of the race. And what is going on with uh, Stuart Haas racing with the motors? 
Now we only have two of them. It's me and Eric Amarola out there, while Cole Custer and Kevin Harvick are both out of the race. And I better make sure I don't have a, a blown motor. This has just been a, a disastrous day for the uh, Stuart Hobbs racing team. Cole Custer out with a blown motor and Kevin Harvick out with a crash. And, and those are two Stuart Haas cars out of the race. And then Kevin Harvick, this is going to cause a huge blow into his title hopes. And he's, he drops out of the race. We're trying to draft with somebody. We're, we're drafting with Keslowski. We're, we're drafting now with Matt Kenseth. You know, I have to let the, I have to give Matt Kenseth room. He, he, he got on the inside. He, I just want a top 10 finish. That's what I want. At least we're running in the top 10. We're running ninth right now. Getting pretty racy right now with Matt Kenseth. Ross Chastain will be in that car uh, for the next installment of our NASCAR 21 game. That's what it's going to be called. It's not going to be called Heat 6. Man, what a tough break for the Stuart Haas racing team. And my teammate Kevin Harvick is out. Well, remember, he crashed in the previous caution. That's two Stuart Haas cars out of the race. And... Uh, and me and Eric Amarola are running. Remember, Eric Amarola is already eliminated. Now I'm getting drafting help from uh, Kyle Bush in his October uh, DLC paint scheme. That's a nice looking paint scheme. He will be driving that, uh, that zombie car in the uh, Texas race when we go there. We're running in P9. Just want to stay in the top 10, and we got the fastest lap now. It looks like this wedge adjustment is helping pretty well, so I do like the balance of the car. If it runs loose out there, and now it's running in the top 10, I just want a top 10 finish, you know. That I'm doing very well now. I'm, I'm in the top 10. I'm running alongside with Kyle Busch. I don't have the car to win the race, but that's fine. We'll try to get it maybe at Martinsville. I may struggle at the Texas race. There's Tyler Reddick going around. That's for, for P10. I'm not going to make any more wedge adjustments out of the car. I just want a top 10 finish. And I'm running alongside with uh, Tyler Reddick. I may be able to make a pit stop at the end of the race, so that way I could uh, make it and then uh, try to take advantage. That's what I'll do. Uh, I might do the secret weapon as well. We have 65 laps remaining in uh, stage 2. I'm now getting passed by uh, Kurt Busch. Let's see if I can use uh, Kurt Busch as a draft. Running on 11th right now. I'm running pretty comfortable right now. Bush is really giving me a push. There you go. Just give me the push. I just want a top 10 finish. So that's what I want. And I'll do the same thing in the next race in my home track at Texas. You know, just, just want to stay focused for, for Phoenix. Because I know I'm going to do good in Martinsville and, and Phoenix. I already won four playoff races, so actually five playoff races. I won the first three in the preliminary round, and then I won two. I won Talladega and the Charlotte Roval. I've already won five uh, out of the last uh, eight, uh, out of the last seven playoff races. And I have a very good advantage to mathematically, I just won a top ten so I can mathematically be in the playoffs. If I get drafted help from my playoff contender, uh, Kurt Busch, I'll be fine. I'm going to stay right behind Kurt Busch. He is driving his playoff car. Yep, he is. That's his playoff DLC car. I'm just trying to get around Tyler Reddick. He's having a good, good race today, running in the top ten. Matt Kenseth is running in ninth. I think we see Truex running in eighth. 
Ryan Newman has just passed uh, Danny Hamlin. He's having a heck of a race, and Danny Hamlin is leading in the uh, as the playoff contender. Running a side by side with Tyler Reddick. All right, come on, give me a push, Bert. I have to let Kurt Busch go. He's uh, coming alongside me a, a little bit. Oh. And Kurt Busch is saying, I had enough being in this position. <laughs> Not typically a good race. I like the adjustment and everything. They let me move forward into P11, and I'm getting in a racey right now with Tyler Reddick. Matty D, he's been doing good too. Man, I'm just easily, I just get around the uh, first push. Oh, Matty D moving up. He's going up in the P11. Here he is. I may get pushed from uh, Kurt. That's exactly what I'm doing. I don't want to hit the wall. Come on, don't hit the wall. Ooh, contact between Matty D. Getting a bit aggressive out there. Oh, no, and I hit the wall. I just made a mistake. Oh, damn it. Damn it. Why did I hit the wall? I just made a mistake there. He, uh, he bottomed me out and everything else, and then he was trying to get through, and then he got me on the loose side, and then I uh, ended up in the wall. And I'm going to drop into P13 because uh, now I got damage on the right side and the back. I don't have front end damage, so I should be able to be all right. Yeah, it's the first time I hit the wall here at Kansas. Man, this wedge is terrible. It looks like uh, I'm too loose. Hitting it right into the back stretch right there. Still running in P12 right now, trying to get a top 10 finish. Was running as high as six, and then uh, then the car slowed down. It's not been a good day so far for the Stuart Haas Racing Team, and my teammate Paul Custer is out, and then Kevin Harvick out with a with a crash. Danny Hamlin is now leading this race. He's trying to earn his ticket to Phoenix. Just need to finish in the top 10, so that way I could uh, put more points through. And uh, if I do, then uh, I'll have enough points to make it into the championship final four. Just hope I can have a good uh, race in the next race in my home track at Texas. With 52 laps remaining here at the uh, Kansas uh, Speedway. You know, in the NASCAR Heat 4 game, I 
ran well, but I ran in P8, running this on expert mode, and that's the way it's going to be because I want to be get, uh, I want to get pretty racy here, but uh, my car is just terrible. I'm in P13 now, but I just got damage on the right side and the back, but uh, hopefully don't repair it, and then maybe I can move myself forward. Still getting pretty racy so far. Uh, Kurt Busch has a uh, top 10 car as well. We have 50 laps remaining in stage two. At least I'm running in 13th, at least I'm not running uh, 15th. I've been running in that class. Corey LaJoy is losing uh, spots. I'm still running, uh, still running for this 12th place against uh, Kurt Busch. Oh my goodness, and contact again. We're 30 lots away of pitting. Okay, 47 lots remaining. Still, we can still run a top 10. And Let's see how the traffic is going to be. It looks like they got caught in that traffic. We're still trying to um, get around Kurt Busch for uh, 12. Probably we're going to run 7th a, a little bit, but uh, maybe we might get back to our original adjustment and uh, let's see if the car will uh, push forward. Bit on the, a little bit on the tight side. It is making us move forward. But yeah, me and Kurt Busch are running even steam and speed. There is the, uh, the lap traffic coming up. And Ryan Newman is now back in the lead. That, this is a pretty good contention for the race. I wish I was up front, but. Uh, I don't have a. I did get reached the 31 second mark. And that's got a corner of joy. They're closing in. Oh, and somebody's got a blown motor right there. That could be a caution. Oh, man. Who is that? Is that Brendan Gong? And we are going to be pinning on this lap, too. Yeah, somebody's got a blown motor right there. I hope it's not Tyler Reddick. It could be, uh, it could be one of the lap cars there. That is. Uh, Brendan Gong might be blown up. Yeah, it looks it looks to be Brendan Gong. Because I see his motor is blown up. Joey Logano is four. Yeah, we are gonna pit. We have uh, 151 laps to go. We're running in P11 right now. I hope that wasn't uh, one of our uh, playoff contenders. Ryan Newman is now dropped into P10. No, that was Tyler Reddick. Oh my goodness, Tyler Reddick is blown up. 
And that's the Richard Childers car. And that's why we're running in P11, because Tyler Reddick has blown an engine. He is out of the race. What a tough break for, for Tyler Reddick. And he was having a good run today. He, he had a fast race car. He, he had a, maybe a top 10 car, and now he's dropped out of the race. And that is another retirement. But remember, he is not a playoff contender, so he, uh, we don't have to worry about him. And now we're moving up into P8. It's now we've gone into our original setup, and it's making us move forward. We move up into P P8 right now, so we could be able to have our goal to have a top 10 finish. Because now Tyler Reddick is out of the race. And now we move up into P7. Come on, give me a drafting partner. Give me, uh, come on, give me Kirk Bush. And that was another fast lap. We're at 31.770. So we go back to our original setup. We're in P8 right now. Man, we're seeing a lot of uh, top contenders having serious problems. And wow, Tyler Reddick is out of the race with a blown motor. Yeah, he blew the motor. Man, motor problems have just been a, an absolute uh, disaster here in Kansas, and, and another title contender has a problem. There's Ryan Newman right there. He was leading this race, but now he's dropped into P9. He was in the lead, but then he had to pit. They're running in P8 right now. They sit along with Ryan Blaney and others. Ryan Blaney's running in, we're in P8 right now. But now we can be able to get that top 10 uh, finish, now that uh, Reddick is out of the race. We have 35 laps remaining, we're still holding on to that top 10 spot. Still getting too low on the apron over there, that's going to let Kurt Busch go by. So I'm going to run in P11 right now because uh, now that uh, Reddick is out of the race, so now uh, we can. Uh, We're now in 14 minutes into the race, and uh, we're now in stage two, and we're running in P11. Three cars out of the race, and one playoff contender out. It's Kevin Harvick. So Kevin Harvick and I have a lot of work to be done for the next race at Texas. Running in P11. Just lost it a little bit going into turn one because uh, Kirk Bush got pretty racy and so. So one point out of the way for uh, for a top ten finish. We're 
Kurt Busch is pulling away. He is absolutely blazing it. Maybe we should have a tape adjustment. Well, a wedge adjustment is okay, but we want to put more tape out of it so we can get more faster. losing the P11. Uh, we're still going backwards, so it looks like this uh, wedge adjustment is not helping. We went back to the original setup to try to bring the car a little bit more faster, but it's just uh, not moving up a, a little bit. And now we move down to P12 because... Um, I think we do like the wedge adjustment because it, it, it made us stay in to the top 10. So we'll see in the next pit stop, we'll, uh, we'll try to get that wedge adjustment back and then uh, see if that, that will try to help us pull forward. But we're running in P12, we have 27 laps remaining in stage uh, 2. Danny Hamlin is now leading this race. And the yellow flag is out. Yellow is out with 133 laps remaining here at the, uh, and we're not going to pit because nobody is going to pit at all. Man, we're seeing the, already seeing the fifth caution flag of the day. And we don't know, let's hope that somebody's not having a low motor over there. We have, well, 24 cars, and it looks like it's Quinn Huff again. And look at all these guys out of the race. Reddick, Harvick, and uh, Custer. And some of the uh, cars are going to be pitting, but they're already a lap down. But at least we're running in P12 uh, right now. So let's see uh, how we can do. And let's see if we can move full forward into the top 10. So now the field is now bunched up again. Okay, so here we go. Here's the restart. The 22 laps remaining in stage two. And we have another car out of the race. It looks to be Quinn Hobb. And now we pass both Matty D and Kurt Busch to go up to the top ten. It looks to be that uh, Eric Amarola, I mean, not Amarola, uh, Alex Bowman could be out of the race. And now we're running in P10 right now. We're running right behind Ryan Blaney. 
and Brad Teslowski. Already four cars out of this race here in Kansas. So this has been reliability issue problems in this race. I'm running side by side with uh, Ryan Laney for P9. Oh, we got somebody in the wall. Oh no, it's Eric Emerola. Eric Emerola is in trouble. My third Stuart Haas racing car is in trouble. And he was running in sixth place and he ended up hitting the wall. And the pro problem rolls continue for the Stuart Haas racing team. And we were running in P10 and already problems. What is going on with Eric Amarola? We have to see who, uh, which car was out of the race. Oh, that was Chase Elliott. Chase Elliott is out of the race. So that was the fourth car out of the race, and it looks like Eric Amarola could be the fifth car out of the race. He's already eliminated. So that means we move up into P9, so it looks to be Eric Amarola is done for the day. That's already three Stuart Haas racing cars out of the race, and I'm the only one out there. Well, it looks like Emerola could not be out of the race. He, he looks like he made a pit stop. It looks like it was just a tire problem. And now, now, in, the, now in the P9, Matty D is now moved up in the P8. Now in the P8 right now, I'm running right behind these guys, trying to get the, a lot of drafting help. This has just been a dismal day so far for the Stuart Haas racing team. I'm not be able to move up forward with my car, but it, it is now up into P5. That's the highest position I've been all, all throughout this race. This is my highest position. I am now in P5, running right behind Joey Logano. A little bit of contact between me and Logano. I'm now in P5 in this race with 11 laps remaining in, in stage two. Yeah, this is the best racing I've had so far, but look at these guys over here, the Penske cars. They're now trying to pass me for P5, I'm getting drafting help from Matt Kenseth. Come on, keep away from that wall. What? I don't want to hit that wall. Yeah, he's giving me the draft, but I'm still, um, it's still uh, pretty racy so far with Joey Logano.
Running in P6 right now. Racing along. I, I want to I wanna draft Joey Logano. I don't know if Kyle Busch has got some uh, problems. Remember, he is not in title contention. He's already eliminated. Teslowski is in title contention, and so is his teammate, Joey Logano. All known. That's going to that's going to lose spots right there. Let's see if I if Kenson could do something here to try to push me forward. I I just got too low on the apron. Running in P6 right now, but the. Not for long because I see Keselowski getting pretty racy. This is the highest position I have ever been. Let's hope I can keep it that way to get a get some of those playoff points. Still pretty racy so far with uh, with Matt Kenseth. And I'm running right behind for Kyle Bush for B5. And now I'm getting the draft. We will be pinning uh, after this stage. As long as, as long as I can have a drafting partner with someone, I'll be fine. We're in P7 right now. Now I'm running alongside with uh, Kyle Wood. I really love those DLC paint schemes. It's what I'm talking about, and let's hope the NASCAR 21 game will do uh, more of that. Yes, I'm now getting pretty racy. It looks like that's on a roll on my teammate. Let's see if he can help me out. He's already got those fresh tires. We're going to let uh, Emerola go because uh, he's got fresh tires on his car. Yeah, go ahead, Emerola. I know you got the fresh tires, so... Just bustle along in there. I know he's eliminated already. We know he's going to pass uh, Kyle Busch for P5. He, he's taking advantage right now. He has those, uh, those fresh tires. But I got Matt Kenseth right now, too. Getting pretty racy. I'm going to let Emerola go because uh, Emerola is still there. I'm running in P6 right now. Oh, Matt Kenson is now going to get around. He's seen enough, and now I'm getting, pat getting drafted for my teammate, Eric Emerola. Pretty good racing so far here. I think this is the best racing now I've had to today now. I move up into P7. See if I can try to get those playoff points in. It looks like I will be getting playoff points, but let's see which position I can get. race here at Kansas. And I'm doing okay too. Eric Amarola and I are now back in the top 10. Amarola is fifth and I'm eighth. Still closing in on Kyle Busch for P7. There's Peslowski right there.
All right, that was P8, so we did a good job on stage two. We were P12 in the stage one, and now we get to those playoff points, so we get three more points with 107 laps remaining here in the Hollywood Casino 400, and we are going to pit. And we're going to put a little bit of tape in the car, so that way we can both pull forward and try to manage our top ten position, and it looks like we don't have to make any adjustments because the car is working well. Oh, what a terrific run today for Tori LaJoy. He's doing well. All right, this is the final stage of the race, and we're going to race it right to the checkered flag. Remember, 60 laps of fuel is in the car. And we're running in P7 right now, racing alongside with Kenson. We have 104 laps to go, so that means we have 163 out of uh, 267 laps in this race. And I did put 40% uh, more tape out of the car. I didn't make a wedge adjustment because I like it as it is. And it looks like that tape of adjustment is working and now we're moving forward. We now move up in the P4. And we're getting drafting help from Keselowski. We are now in P5 right now, and now racing in the front of the field right now for the first time in this race. And getting drafting help from, uh, oh, look at this, the Penske cars. All three of the Penske cars are all running in the top ten. Man, racing against these Penske cars. And Logano is now in the lead. Logano's taking the lead in this race in the final 100 laps. We have 100 laps remaining here at the Hollywood Casino 400. And we don't have to pin. And maybe that'll be our last pit stop the next time around. We may do the secret weapon as well, like we like Amarola did. That's what made him move up into the field. He had pressure tires. Remember, we did this in the Xfinity race, and we may do it again here in the Cup Series. We're running in P7 right now, and there's Amarola, my teammate, right alongside. It is helping a little bit, but uh, I think it's going to lose us in contention. Our goal is just to get a top 10 finish, and a little bit of contact with Keslowski. We dropped down into P9. We're just not getting the draft that we needed. Now Ryan Newman, he is having a denominating performance, but the playoff contenders are second and third. That's Logano and Hamlin. Truex is fourth, and I'm running in the top ten, too, just like I promised to be, and holding off of Ryan Blaney, and racing alongside with Brad Keslowski.
There's 96 laps remaining here at the Hollywood Casino 400. And it looks like I'm going to get passed by Ryan Blaney. The car is pulling forward a little bit now that I made that tape adjustment. So it is pushing forward a little bit, but it's still not uh, pretty racy. But we'll, we'll keep it as it is and see how it goes from there. And we lose, uh, we're in the top 10 right now. We see alongside with Ryan Blaney. The car is fast, but it looks like that's uh, all that it's going to do uh, for this race. But we, we are going to do a secret weapon. So after the last pit stop, we may pit again to uh, try to take the advantage. The next pit stop will be around 55 laps to go. And then we could make it on the, at the end of this race because it will only be 60 laps. I think with 50 to go, it could be uh, our next pit stop. So we're now in the top 10 right now. Right behind five car lengths ahead of uh, five car lengths ahead of uh, Matty D. He's having a good race today. Now in 37 minutes into this race, but uh, we have 92 laps remaining here in the Hollywood Casino 400, and Ryan Newman could be on his way getting his first win of the season. And then there won't be any playoff uh, contenders uh, winning in the, this race. But... Oh, and the caution's out. With 92 laps to go, we have another car that's blown an engine that is in the front of the field. We hope that it's not Amarola again. We see somebody smoking. Oh, no, and... And that's the leader. That's Danny Hamlin. Danny Hamlin in the 11 car is smoking. Oh, man. If, if he goes out of the race, man, that's going to cause a huge blow on his championship hopes. Danny Hamlin, who has been doing a good job. He only led a few laps in this race, and now he has problems. And we're not going to pit because we have 26 cars on the lead lap. John Hunter Nemechek is going to be back on the lead lap. So that will be up in the P9 because of the Danny Hamlin's trouble. If he's out of the race, that, that is going to cause a huge blow on his title hopes. Yep, he is. He is out of the race. Yep, we see him in the uh, pit road. And what a tough break for Danny Hamlin. He did so well in Vegas and everything and not a good way. Now we have two playoff contenders uh, now uh, retired from the race. Kevin Harvick and now Danny Hamlin is out of the race. That is a tough break for Danny Hamlin. And we're already in P9 right now. We're losing a lot of playoff contenders, and now we only have six left that are in playoff contention. Veslowski is one of them. Remember, Logano, the leading uh, playoff contender now is Martin Truex Jr. He's running in P3. Joey Logano is in P4. So now Joe Gibbs Racing has their engine woes. And we're already moving up in the field. We're already in P7 right now. But look at this. Look at Ryan Blaney. Remember, he's not in playoff contention. Man, that, that was most certainly an engine. That, that was a permanent engine uh, failure for Danny Hamlin. What a tough race. My teammate Eric Amarola is now in second place, to, but I'm just focusing on those playoff contenders, and Torex Jr. is now in third. And wow, what a good run for Corey LaJoy. He now runs in ninth place. And I'm running comfortably in P8. This is a good position. But the engine walls have just been, look at this, five cars out of the race with engine 
Woes and Kevin Harvick's the only car that crashed. Man, th th this is just a topsy-turvy uh, race here at uh, Kansas. And attrition has just been taking its toll today here at Kansas Speedway. We only have two Stuart Haas cars running, and now one of the and now they lost one of the Joe Gibbs cars. Truex Jr. is still running in fifth. He's the only Joe Gibbs car that, that is in the uh, playoff contention. We don't know where Suarez is or anybody else. They, they've been in the top 30. I'm still trying to get around uh, Mayan Blaney, but his teammate, uh, Brad Keselowski, is knocking the door. Oh, no, and I hit the wall. Damn it, that Brad Keselowski. Why did he do that? He got too aggressive with me, and then he uh, slid me into the wall. And now I'm dropped into P9 because uh, Brad Keselowski's stupidity knocked me into the wall and then damaged my right side, and now I'm going to be slow. That damn Brad Keselowski, come on. He got me loose into turn to one and two, and then uh, and dropped me into P9, and then uh, ricocheted right side damage. Well, Logano is running in second. Uh, Newman is still uh, leading this race. But I'm running in P9 right now. Uh, remember I said I want a top 10 finish. And I'm running in ninth right now. We don't have the, the, the best of car here in this race. But all these uh, the contenders out of the race. Uh, I would have been like in P13 if it wasn't for all the retirements we've had. But now I'm running in P9. Matty D is in the top 10. laps remaining here in the Hollywood Casino 400. Now I'm in the top 10. I banged the wall. I've already twice I banged the wall uh, because I was too loose. Damn, that Brad Keselowski. against Matty D. This is the battle for P9. They're uh, side by side against him. I know I'm going to be slow because I got right side damage again because of, the, of Brad Kasowski's stupidity. But I'm still running in the top 10. I'm trying to hold off uh, Corey LaJoy so he doesn't get the top 10. Man, there, there's been a lot of dramas today. Uh, the Stuart Haas Racing Team, the first two of uh, them are out of the race. Harvick, and we only have six uh, playoff contenders. Uh, in the running. I'm running in the top 10. And Daniel Suarez is still there. He's now, honestly, the slowest uh, in the field. And I'm running in P10 right now. I started 25th in the race, and I'm in P10.
trying to go up in the P9, but it's still, the Matty D is still racing. Ooh, contact. Next season, Austin Cedric is going to be in that car. We don't know where Matty D is going to be in 2022 when he gets out of the Wood Brothers car. He may go to Stuart Haas Racing next year. With Matt DiBenedetto. Side by side with Matty D. Now that he's got, got the contention, I'm now running in P9. Clouds are rolling in. It looks like the sun is beginning to set. So I haven't passed through lap traffic. Ryan Newman is almost there to the lap traffic. He is dominating this race. He is just having a, a terrific day with that Ralph Fenway car. Remember, he is not in title contention, but he is getting pretty racy so far. He's pulling away from Joey Logano. He doesn't have to worry about pressuring with Danny Hamlin now because Danny Hamlin is out of the race. So it looks like Hamlin and Harvick will have to race good at the Texas Motor Speedway for the next race. I'm running in P9 right now. I am pulling away from Cody LaJoy. He's 1.2 seconds because me and Matty D are pretty much uh, drafting right now. And we're 26 laps away and making our final pit stop. We're pitting it with 50 laps to go. We'll have 10 laps of fuel in the car uh, in this race. Let's hope a caution doesn't come out. I, and if we do have a caution uh, within about maybe uh, 30 laps to go, I will be uh, able to have a secret weapon to pit. So that way I can make it uh, through and maybe try to win this race or try to make it into the championship finals or maybe a top five finish if we do the secret weapon, but we're going to stay on the green, and I'm going to stay uh, in the ninth position, my projection, and I'm able to, willing to take my goal of projection to finish in the top ten, you know, I'm getting pretty racy with uh, Matty D, he, he wants that uh, P9, and he does, running even speed so far with Matty D, just making sure I don't make a, I just want to draft with him. I got it again. <laughs> All right, we have 67 laps to go. That means we're already past the 200 lap mark. Here at Kansas, still uh, running pretty racy with uh, Matty D so far. One 1.2 seconds ahead of uh, Kirk Bush.
Well, we'll see if we race our way through the uh, lap traffic. Hasn't been much of a factor here today for that lap traffic. Boy, do well in the Nestle Rally in Finland. That'll be the next row. Uh, Next excursion race right after we get done with Kansas Speedway. Running in ninth place right now. I think I'm closing in on Matt Kenseth, but yeah, you know, there's Matt Kenseth in the blue car. I think that's uh, Ross Chastain right there. They've already passed through the lap traffic. And I'm beginning to pull away from Matty D now that the, the lap traffic is coming into play. Running in P9 right now. Haven't led any laps in this race yet, but uh, maybe I will be. Maybe in the, near the end of the race, if that's where it's going to count. Just trying to stay out there. Running a good P9. We have 15 laps away of making our final pit stop of the day. We already made it through our uh, our last pit window, but we have to do it in 10 more laps. We're 15 laps away of pitting. And now we are right behind Ross Chastain, and I am getting drafted. Ross Chastain is in 35th. He's a lap down. So is Timothy Hill. And the caution is out, and uh, oh, man. And this is going to be, uh, whoa. And the caution is out with 60 laps to go. We were 15 laps away of pitting, but now we have 59 laps to go. And now it's going to be a flat-out race to the finish. So hopefully we can make it on fuel. We will be able to pit if we could stay out there. This will be our final pit stop of the day. And we don't have to make any tape or wedge adjustments. The car is good enough as it is. So this is a flat-out race to the finish with 59 laps remaining here at the Hollywood Casino 400. Brian Newman is leading. So we move up in the P9. We're still in P9 and everything. And man, the caution came out almost at the right time. And we have a sixth car out of the race. Yeah, that's our sixth car that is out of the race there. It looks like that's, uh, I don't know, that's not Ryan Newman. I, Ryan Newman is still leading this race. Let's see, uh, we have 60 laps of fuel in the car. We've already passed his, uh, Matty D. We are going to make another pit stop if we, uh, have, if we need to, to give us, uh, the secret weapon. Uh, but let's see what, when that next caution will be. We now move up into P8 right now. In the end of this race, we have 55, uh, laps remaining, and we had... And we just saw that we had 59 uh, laps of fuel. And now we're going to lose spots because Kenson got aggressive. And I'm running alongside with Eric Amarola. Still running in P9. Now that the car is fixed. Now I'm getting along the inside of uh, Kenseth and uh, Kyle Bush. Man, six cars out of the race here at Kansas, and we're almost sitting near the end of this race, and now we're in P7. I think that was Brendan Gong that was out of the race. Yeah. Well, we saw the, the white card. That looks to be uh, Brendan Gong. Yeah, we're going to get passed by uh, Kirk Bush. We're in P8 right now. Now I'm behind my teammate, Eric Amarola. Come on, get out of that wall. I don't want to hit the right side of that car again. Running in P8 and having a very good top 10 finish race.
Well, we have 50 laps remaining here at the Hollywood Casino 400. Let's see if we stay out there as much as we can. Running in the top 10, running right behind Porter the Joy. Stella race uh, today for Corey LaJoy, having a great run in that fast uh, racing team. Running, they already got around uh, Maddie D. Trying to get that top 10, but they're still not doing it. And here comes Maddie D coming into the get around them for P11. Stay on the low line. We could stay in that top ten, but and Joy and Maddie D are getting pretty racy, and now I'm running right in between these two guys right now. Trying to push forward. I'm trying to maybe get P9 away, but at least I'm in the position that I need to be. This is my goal, and just staying focused for Phoenix. And there might be not be any playoff contenders winning this race because Ryan Newman is just absolutely dominating this race here at the uh, Hollywood Casino 400. Running in, uh, we are going to do the secret weapon uh, for our next caution flag. And now we begin to pull away from uh, Corey LaJoy and Maddie D as I now stay into the top 10. Maddie D is getting pretty racy so far. 
getting good turn speed going into turns one and two. remaining here at the Kansas. my final race. I've been doing pretty good so far. I've been moving slowly. Everybody can make it on fuel. And 41 laps of fuel in the car. Oh, and the caution is out with 39 laps remaining in the race. And look at this. We had one, and we are going to pit. We are going to pit. Because I think, uh, Oh, we got another blown motor over there. That looks like one of the last cars, but we are certainly going to pit. Maybe we'll put half a tank of fuel so that way we can make it. Uh, so that means we're going to have, uh, well, we played it with 60 laps to go, and uh, we are going to be in the back of the field and everything, and, uh, but we'll be in great shape. So we'll, we'll drop us into 22nd. Joey Gase gets the free pass, so we have 25 cars on the lead lap. Daniel Suarez is currently running in 20th right now. I'm right behind Martin Truex. I think he also has pitted. I think he's going to go with the strategy as well. So me and Truex are now both uh, have, have pitted to do the secret weapon, and we're going to be fast out there. But we still need drafting partners. So we are going to be fast. We have pressure tires. And I'm getting drafting help from Martin Truex Jr. already, as he's doing the same strategy as I am. We're going to make it on, so we make it on fuel, so that means we can make it to the end. Suarez is running in 18, but we are going to be so fast with these tires. We have 34 laps remaining here in the Hollywood Casino 400, and me and Truex Jr. will be in the top spot. I'm just doing the secret weapon. Good run for Alex Bowman, running 14th. Make sure I don't hit the pump bumper of the car. That'll slow my car down just a bit. We have another caution. That'll be great. But we had the pit, so that way we can uh, gain a little bit of advantage and then uh, maybe move on to the top five spot. This, this is what we wanted to do in this caution. And if we have more cautions uh, in, in the race, uh, we'll, be, uh, we'll be great. 32 laps remaining here in this race. And if we just stay green, we're going to be uh, leading this race. We're now running in 13th right now. As I pull my car forward, Martin Truex is, uh, I don't know, he's not moving up uh, as I am. It's not, it's not really moving up as much as I am. There's William Byron and all the others there. That's all the Hendricks uh, cars. So 31 laps remaining here at the Hollywood Casino 400. I do pit on this lap. Ryan Newman is still leading this race. And I have pressure tires. I have 15 laps of pressure tires than these guys. And my car is pushing so forward. I move up in the P11. I'm now trying to get the top 10 away from William Byron. Oh, there's Jimmy Johnson. He's getting pretty racy. He didn't pit on this lap, but he's getting pretty racy out there. 
those, sooner or later those tires are going to be weakening uh, on some of the drivers. They're getting a lot of good drafting. Nine laps remaining. I'm trying to get the top ten away from William Byron. And Jimmy Johnson is running on 11th spot. He is going to need a draft, and I'm pulling forward. With these 15 laps pressure tires, 28 laps remaining here in the Hollywood Casino 400. Trying to do the strategy. Here comes Truex. He is run, run, running at P11. Look at how fast he's going. He's running the same strategy as I am, and we could make it into the end. You know, we could uh, make it into the end of the race if we can. I think we're both. We're going to be first and second. Uh, I really like to be runner-up, and Turex Jr. is uh, doing the same strategy as I am. We now move up in the P8. We have pressure tires. This is giving up some advantage. This is what was, was my secret weapon. And look at the drafting I'm getting from uh, Martin Turex Jr., and we're pulling our way forward. And we move up into P7. We get around uh, Ryan Blaney. I'm definitely on a mission. I'm in P7. See if I could uh, draft alongside with Truex. And, uh, their tires are going to be weakening uh, at, at the end of this race. It looks like Truex is going to go by. Uh, I'm going to have to draft them. And I'm get, getting good drafting help from, uh, from Ryan Blaney. If we pull forward, it, Brad Kisowski is running in sixth. I'm running in seventh right now. Running alongside with Truex Jr., he's also on the same strategy as I am. With 25 laps to go, and we are now in P8. You know, they're they're going to be slow with their, uh, with their tires, and we're closing in on Ryan Newman. Me and Truex says, I could get a second place finish if I... Uh, we keep this race green. If a caution comes out, that'll be great if they, they don't pit. Because they know they can make it to the end of the race. I'm pulling away from Kurt Bush. I'm now P8. Doing a great job out there. Let's we'll see what happens in the end of the race. If any of these guys are going to be pitting. We have pressure tires. 15 laps pressure. We know we can pull away from uh, Ryan Blaney. Sooner or later, those tires are going to weaken even more. We can stay behind Truex. Truex could win this race, too. If we stay in the green. If the caution comes out, that'll be... Uh, Excellent. Because we're getting more turning speed and uh, their tires are going to get weakened. Yeah, Ryan, Ryan Blaney is still getting pretty racy out there. We are closing in on uh, in front of the field. Remember, that's Kislowski, Kyle Busch, and uh, Matt Kenseth. Ryan Newman still leads this race. 
see a little bit of a smoke coming up ahead. Twenty laps of reading here at the Hollywood Casino 400. We need some running in PA with these fresher tires. I don't even know how Ryan Blaney is uh, doing well. And we are pulling forward uh, with these guys. Here comes, uh, we are pulling forward a little bit because now we're uh, Brad Kislowski and everybody else. It would be great if I have a top five finish here at the end. Oh no, and Ryan Blaney gets so aggressive. Almost spins me out. And I'm trying to get back up at the speed, and uh, that was a lousy, aggressive move by Ryan Blaney. Running in P9 right now, these new fresh tires are not helping. I don't know why it's not pushing us forward. He's not even pushing Turex Jr. forward because he's still running in P7 behind uh, Kensip and other guys. And then it's almost got spun out by uh, Ryan Blaney. Seventeen laps remaining in this race. Man, if those guys pit uh, with wear out tires, Torex Jr. could win this race and I could be in P2. And I could be in second place. Well, it is helping, P9, at least we're pulling away from uh, Kurt Busch. 16 laps remaining. And Truex is not even pulling forward either. He's seventh and I'm ninth. But if we get a caution, then uh, that will help us. That will help us get to maybe get to one, two at the end. But let's hope it does. And I'm closing in on uh, Ryan Blaney. We have 15 laps remaining, two hours and 16 minutes into the Hollywood Casino 400. Running at ninth right now. But the question now is, can these guys make it on fuel? But remember, their tires are gonna wear out. Still running pretty steady right now with Brian Newman. And now Joey Logano now takes the lead. It looks like Brian Newman is trying to save fuel. Joey Logano, one of our playoff contenders, is, a, is 12 laps away from earning his ticket to Phoenix. We have 13 laps remaining.
11 laps to go. Eleven laps remaining. We're still running in P9, and now the lap traffic is coming in. We're, we are closing in on Logano. You know, we're, I think we're already about 10 seconds, but he's still under a very good race pace. I don't think the tires are not mattering here at uh, here at Kansas. And we have 10 laps to go. We're running in P9, and the caution comes out with 10 laps to go. Man, the, and nobody is going to pit. And Joey Logano is leading. We have we are in good shape right now. It looks like that's Matt Kenseth. Matt Kenseth, who was running in P5, has blown the motor. Oh no! And he was up for a top five finish, and the caution is out. And we're going to stay out there because we have the fresher tires, so we could get a top five finish here. Let's see. Let's hope what happens in the final ten, maybe final eight laps of the race. We're now in the. We're still ninth. I don't think that was Kenseth. I think it was Ross Chastain that's out of the race. He's still out there. But we do have the fresher... Uh, remember, we have fresher tires. Let's see if we can make it up to the field with seven laps remaining. Remember, these guys have, uh, have weaker tires. We can move up if we can. We're now up against uh, Keselowski. Let's see if we can try to get a top five finish in this race. We got it so far, we're already up in the P7. He's six laps to go. Don't forget Truex is also in this strategy as well. He's running in P4. in the P7. Five laps to go. They're trying to get around. Uh, I don't know how their tires are doing well. There's Matt Kenton running in sixth place. Torex Jr. can't even move forward either. He's running in P5. right now is uh, Eric Amarola. My teammate Eric Amarola is now trying to take the lead away from uh, Joey Logano. We're getting passed by uh, we're getting passed by Ryan Blaney. I can't believe Ryan Blaney is doing well. I don't know how those tires are holding up. It must be the speed of the car. We're running in P8 right now. We're trying to get P7. We have three laps remaining here at the Hollywood Casino 400. Look at that battle for the lead. And here comes uh, two non-playoff contenders trying to contend for the lead. The Logano's in third. I'm running in seventh right now, side by side with uh, Ryan Blaney. Man, we might not see a playoff contender uh, advance to the... Uh, Championship Finals. Logano is now running in second. He, as Eric Amarola is losing spots. We have two laps remaining in this race. And I can't even get around Matt Kenseth. Let's see if I can draft with uh, Blaney. Maybe Peslowski could help. Here we go. And I pass around Blaney. I move up into P7. I gotta get around. I, I gotta have Keselowski. Let's see if he can draft me along so he can try to, to get that P6 spot the next time around. It's the white flag of this race. One more lap to go here at the Hollywood Casino 400. And the leader right now is Ryan Newman, who has had a dominating performance, and he could be on his way of winning this race. Running in P7. It looks like I'm gonna have a seventh place finish here at the. 
Looks like we're going to be in seventh here at the Kansas, and that's what it's going to be. It's going to be too late to go to P6. And Ryan Newman wins this race, and I get P7. So no playoff contenders are advancing to the uh, championship final four, as Ryan Newman has had a denominating performance, and a non, and that, and that's the second race so far that a non playoff contender wins a race. So we end up in P7, and we uh, did a great job out there. So that's better than nothing. But our goal was to get a top 10 finish, and uh, and I'm okay with P7. It was great racing, but. Uh, it was so tough out there, but man, what a job by Ryan Newman. But no playoff, uh, so nobody wins. Uh, so it's nobody, no playoff contender won here at Kansas. So we're going to have to wait until Texas. Well, this is pretty much a waste of the way right here, but, uh, but Ryan Newman wins the Hollywood Casino 400 and he gets his first win in 2020 in the first season of my uh, career mode in the net NASCAR Heat 5 career mode and he had an awesome race and here's the highlights of the race we didn't win but none of the playoff contenders won but Joey Logano got P3 and I got P7 that's what happened to Chase Elliott right there that, that knocked him out of the race Remember, the highest uh, position I made was in P5. Man, Joey Logano, you know, everybody was having problems here. Yeah, the highest position was fifth. Man, Ryan Newman, it was absolutely uh, automatic uh, today here at Kansas. So the highest position I made was four. Yeah, but then I dropped back to fifth. There was so many cars out there. Uh, they did a nice job out there. And the race lasted for about two hours and 26 minutes. It was pretty fast here at the... Uh, at Kansas, but at least I got P7. <laughs> and there you see the checkered flag, and I finished in P7, so we did a great job out there. So, none of our playoff contenders won here at Phoenix because Joey Logano finished in second. He tried everything he could, but Ryan Newman was just absolutely uh, denominating uh, this race. He, this was the best car he has had all season long with the Roush Fenway Racing. And congratulations to them. And uh, so it's wasted away that we had a non-playoff contender uh, win the race. But uh, it just wasn't our contention today. But uh, Logano was uh, the highest playoff contender to finish in second. And then Martin Truex Jr. was fourth, and then uh, I was seventh. So I was third in the uh, playoff contention. So I finished third in playoff uh, contention scenario. And look at that, I beat out Brad Keselowski. He was fourth in playoff contention. And a good job for Matty D. He gets a top ten. And there you see everybody else. Uh, let's see uh, how Daniel Suarez did. Not a good day for him, 20th. That's really going to cost him. But... It could be, uh, he could be okay with 20th because, uh, remember, uh, Danny Hamlin, a lot of the cars that denominated the race were out, including Kevin Harvick. And, and look at this uh, here, Danny Hamlin, what a tough break. And then the last car that was out of the race was Ryan Priest. And Ryan Priest has had a numerous amount of DNFs this season. I think that's his seventh one of the season. Not a good year for the JTD Daughtry Racing, but... Danny Hamlin, oh man, out of the race, blown motor, and then uh, and so is my teammate Kevin Harvick. And, but Stuart Haas Racing, most of all, we did a good job with me and Eric Arola got the top 10. Well, let's take a look at our earnings. We finished seventh in the race. So that would give us some good money right there. $473,878. And let's take a look at the uh, 
first semifinal, so nobody advances to the championship final four. We're going to have to wait until the next race, uh, episode number 34, when we go to Texas Motor Speedway at my home track. So nobody wins, uh, no playoff contender wins the race, but Danny Hamlin is still uh, in the championship contention. Remember, he won the, that's the reason he won Las Vegas. But it looks like Kevin Harvick may have to win uh, Texas or uh, Martinsville in order to advance to the Final Four. And Daniel Suarez, uh, not a good finish for him. But Brad Keselowski and Kurt Busch still got a chance. But it seems to be that Suarez and Harvick may have to win races. Or Suarez may need to get a top ten finish uh, going into that race. But, and then Danny Hamlin, and that's a huge blow right there. And you know, now uh, with 172 points, finishing seventh, I'll be mathematically in the championship final four. So I do make it in the championship final four with consistency. And Joey Logano is in um, second place, even though he, he came second, he got that playoff point uh, to help. And Martin Truex did a great job. He got a top five and I got seven. So. Anyway, it was a good race and everything. Uh, we finished in the uh, top seven. We were third in the playoff contention. But uh, we need to do well uh, to, to get into Phoenix. I know we're going to struggle at Texas, but uh, Martinsville and then Phoenix, we should be all right. But it was a great day, great day for us and everything. But let's hope a, a playoff contender will, will win the next one at Texas. But we're mathematically in the championship final four. But... Suarez and Harvick, uh, Harvick will have to win the, will have to win Texas or uh, Martinsville to, in order to get in. Man, and Ryan Newman, he was the uh, the driver of the day. Look at that, he led 167 of 267 laps. He just uh, crushed the race today. And William Byron was driver of the day. Started dead last and finished in 12. But a tough, tough break for Danny Hamlin. He's still in. The championship contention, but he's only about three points. But he's better be careful not to uh, DNF in the next one, or otherwise he'll have to win at Martinsville. So it was pretty much of a consistent race here uh, today here at the uh, Kansas Speedway, and we did a great job, and we were third in the playoff contention. So that's going to wrap it up here for the Cup Series playoffs in the first round of the semifinals. It was a good start, but none of our playoff contenders won. But uh, we'll we'll get them in the next one in the home race at uh, Texas. Let's see if I could maybe project maybe a top ten or a top five finish. But it depends on how the car goes. We did win the Xfinity race last night, and uh, we uh, now in championship final four contention. But we'll do better uh, in the next one and, and get better results at, at Texas. But again, thank you so much for watching. On behalf of the Hollywood Casino. And some great sponsors out there, uh, Acclaim, and then Oscar Meyer. Thank you so much. And American Ethanol, thank you so much for watching uh, Speed Tape and 3 channel of uh, NASCAR Cup Series playoffs. And we've had a consistent race today, finishing uh, in seventh place. And Nova Playoff Contender won. It was Ryan Newman's day today. And he uh, won his first race of the season, winning the second race at Kansas. And until then, we'll see you in the next one. We will hopefully we'll do the RWRC 9 uh, game at the Nestle Rally Finland until I can get my uh, thing uploaded. So we'll see how we'll go from there. But thank you so much for watching and until then we'll see you in the next one. So long everyone.